we cite some research in our paper that uh, that uh, quotes a study that that said that they could not find any significant levels of expression of a particular enzyme, uh, a methyl, an N-methyltransferase enzyme uh, in the brain that would be presumably needed to make DMT from tryptophan. Uh, however, uh, the brain is complicated, and uh, the absence of the presence of something doesn't, in, in studies to date, does not mean that it's actually not there. Uh, it could be expressed in low levels. It could be expressed so-called constituently so that, that it's only there some, under some conditions. Um, and I think a lot more careful, extensive study would have to be done in order to rule out with any kind of certainty that the enzymes weren't there to, to make DMT. My guess is that, that, that they're there. Um, we say in that paper that, that uh, the way the nervous system seems to work uh, given the kind of current research, is that uh, anything that can possibly happen will probably happen. You know, anything that can possibly happen to give rise to greater flexibility and complexity of communication between nerve cells, unless it's it, for some reason forbidden uh, to happen in some way, it probably is going to happen. And as we look more closely, uh, I suspect it will be found.